Hello. My name is Hans George Campbell. Tonight I thought I'd show you guys how to prep, partition, and format a compact flashcard for use with your Commodore Amiga 1200 computer. Alright, the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that the compact flash card uh, that you're using uh, is plugged into your PC. Okay. Then we want to go down to your start menu and we want to type in disk part. And hit the enter key. Select yes. I'm going to position this over my beautiful Amiga 1000 uh, computer picture so that it looks like a monitor. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> so the first thing we want to do is we want to list our drives. And we do that by typing in the list disk command. And that will show us a list of our drives. Okay. Now, disk 0 and 1 are my hard drives on my PC. Um, disk 2 is my Pioneer DVD Blu-ray drive. That's why it says no media. And disk 3, that is my 128 megabyte um, compact flash card. 122 megabytes formatted capacity. Okay, so that's the drive that we want to select. And we do that by typing in the select command. Select. disk 3. Okay, now we want to verify that to make sure that disk 3 is the disk that's actually selected. This is very important for the next part. So to do that, we once again list the disks. And if you notice, now disk 3 has a star next to it. That means that that's the drive that is now selected. Okay. <clears throat> now in order to use a compact flash card with your Amiga 1200 computer or any Amiga computer for that matter, it first has to be cleaned. You have to wipe all of the partition information off of the compact flash card including the boot record or the boot partition. We do but we do this by using the clean command. Okay, be careful when using this command that you're using it on the correct disk and that's why it was important to verify what drive was actually selected. You do not want to use this command on one of your main hard drives because it will wipe everything off that hard drive including the boot record. So be very careful when using this command. Okay, disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. Again, we want to verify that. Okay, and if you notice, before under free space it was 0B. Okay, now it's 122 megabytes. It's the same as the actual size of the compact flash card. So 
<coughs> Excuse me. That shows us that disk 3, our compact flashcard, has been indeed wiped. It has been wiped. Okay. Now, you can't do anything. I mean, no computer will recognize that compact flashcard until you install some kind of a boot record. I mean, some kind of a, a boot sector so or, or partition. So that's what we're going to do next. And you do that with the create partition command. So you type in create partition primary. And you hit the enter key. This part succeeded in creating the specified partition. And once again, we want to verify that. You want to verify every step that you're doing. Oh, no. Get it right, Mr. Campbell. Okay. And there we go. See, now it's back to the way it was before. The main difference is that the compact flashcard has now been wiped. It's clean. But it also contains a, uh, a boot sector. So now computers will recognize this compact flashcard. Okay. So now we need to exit disk part. And we do that by typing in the exit uh, command. All right. That's it for this part. Um, when I come back, um, I will show you how to um, partition and format the compact flashcard using uh, WinUAE. So I will be back shortly. Okay, now that the compact flashcard has been prepped, it needs to be partitioned and formatted. So we do that by loading up the WinUAE Amiga emulator. For the model, I'm using the Amiga 4000. Uh, the configuration is a 16030 processor. I'm using a 3.1 ROM, 2 megabytes of chip memory, and 8 megabytes of fast memory. Okay, on floppy drives, we want to insert the Workbench 3.1 install disk into DF0. Make sure it is not write protected. Okay, under CD and hard drives, we want to add our compact flashcard as a hard drive. So that right there, generic storage device number 0903. And here in the boot sector information, it says empty. That's good. Um, you'll also sometimes see um, UNK, which stands for unknown. That too is fine. Now, if you ever see, I think it's three dashes right here, that's not good. That means the uh, that the compact flashcard will not work with the Amiga, and it needs to be reprepped using, um, you know, the disk prep uh, program. So yeah, add that hard drive, and now for display. Since I'm using a 1080p HD TV, I'm going to set it at 1920 by 1080. Now, when you're using the Amiga emulator normally and you're not doing a video capturing, you want to select full screen. But because I am doing video capturing, I have to use full window mode. Okay, or else I won't be able to capture the screen. So, there you go. All right. So, first thing we need to do is, okay, this is normal. That's the compact flashcard. 
load up AC tools. Now, if you load up AC tool toolbox and it doesn't recognize the compact flash card, um, what you have to do, click once on the icon, go up here and select information. And you need to change the SCSI device name from SCSI.device, which is the default, to UAEHF.device. And then you save it, and it should work then. Now, I've already done this, so I'm not going to save it. Okay. All right. This is our compact flashcard, so that's a good sign. It actually sees it. AC Tools actually sees it. If you don't see this come up, that means you need to change that SCSI device name. Okay. So change drive type. Define new. Read configuration. This looks good. Generic storage device 0903. Um, this information here is usually wrong, so just ignore this, you know. But this should be pretty close to the size of your compact flash card. Okay. And so I'm using a 128 megabyte compact flash card, which is plenty for an Amiga 1200. Um, so the formatting capacity is 122 megabyte, or close to that. So this all looks fine, so we'll click on OK. And we'll click on OK again. <coughs> now, it says that the drive has been changed. So we want to save changes to the drive. All right, now we want to partition the drive. Now, since I want to use the entire compact flash card as a hard drive, I want to delete this second partition. Okay, and then I want to slide this blue arrow all the way over, 122 megabytes. Okay, we want to change the partition device name to DH0. Make sure it's bootable. And since I live here in the United States, I want to use just a normal fast file system. So click on Advanced Options. And we're going to change that by unclicking this, unchecking that. Okay. Unless you're using a compact flash card or a hard drive that's larger than 4 gigabytes, do not worry about this. Leave it set the way it is. Don't mess with it. Okay, this looks good. Everything looks fine. So click on OK. It says change, so we have to save the changes to the drive. Okay, and then we exit. And it's going to reboot. Now sometimes when it reboots, the compact flashcard icon will not come up. It, will, it won't come up. Like now. This is normal. So what you have to do is you have to hit the F12 key and you want to quit. You want to quit all the way out of the Amiga emulator. Okay. Then you want to reload it. Okay. Under floppy drives you want to install well the install disk into DF0. Make sure it's not write protected. Under CD and hard drives, we want to add the compact flash card as a hard drive, like we did before. See, now it says RDB, which stands for Rigid Disk Block. And that's what the Amiga computer uses for its boot sector. So this is correct. Generic storage device 0903. Add hard drive. Okay. And then under display, since I'm using a 1080p HD TV, I want to select 1920 by 1080. And because I'm doing video capturing, I want to select full window mode and click on start. 
now the compact flashcard icon should appear. Okay. Click once and format disk. I'm going to name it hard drive. Okay, hard drive. We don't need to put the trash can because when we install Workbench 3.1, it will copy over the trash can. So I usually uncheck that. Make sure a fast file system is checked. Okay, do not quick format, especially if the compact flash card is a brand new compact flash card. Do not quick format. You want to do a full format. Okay, trust me. I've been doing this for a long time. I know what I'm talking about. Okay, this is going to take a little while, so I'll be back when it's done. <clears throat> okay, it's almost finished formatting. It only took like, I don't know, about two or three, about, about three minutes. But I didn't want to make you guys sit here and wait three minutes for this thing to format, so. <coughs> it goes pretty quick, though, actually. Okay, so we just uh, we just um, prepped, uh, partitioned, and formatted the compact flashcard. So now it is ready to install uh, Workbench 3.1, and I'll do that in the in the next video. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. My name is Hans George Campbell, and until next time.